The Earned Income Tax Credit, or EITC for short, is for low to moderate income workers and their families. The EITC is one of the few tax credits that is actually refundable. And what that means is, even if you paid $0 in federal taxes, like your tax bill was $0, you could still get money back from the federal government. So you can get a tax return that is beyond the actual taxes that you paid. Now there are some basic qualifications for the EITC that you should definitely know about. And the first one is you have to have earned income. So you have to have at least $1 of earned income in order to qualify for the EITC. So if you didn't work at all all year or, or if none of your income came from earned income, then you won't qualify for the EITC. In addition to that, it's important to know that the earned income that you make, it can come from either employment, like W-2 employment, or it can come from self-employment. So if you run your own business or you run a side job that's considered to be self-employment, then you too can qualify for it. So you don't just need to be an employee to have earned income. You can be self-employed as well. And one more really important qualification that I don't want you to miss is you can't be married filing separately and claim the EITC. If your filing status is married filing separately, then it automatically makes you ineligible for the EITC. Just like with many other tax benefits and tax breaks, married filing separately is not the way to go. So now that you know the very basic qualifications for the EITC, it's really important to know the income limits for it. Because like I said, it is designed to help out low to moderate income workers and their families. So if your income is too high, then you're definitely not gonna be eligible for the EITC. So let me put up a chart for you just so you can see along with me. And as you can see, the EITC, it can be claimed based on qualifying children that are claimed from zero to three or more. You can file single head of household or widowed, or you could file married filing jointly and be eligible for the EITC. So looking at the extreme, if you're married filing jointly and you have three children, you can make up to $56,844 of adjusted gross income and still be eligible for the EITC. If you have zero children and you're married filing jointly, then your income can only be up to $21,710. And of course, the amount of credit that you are going to be eligible for slowly diminishes as your income approaches that limit. So even if you are married filing jointly and you have no children uh, and you make $21,000, the amount of credit that you're gonna be eligible for is going to be very low because you are approaching that income limit. So the further you are from that limit, most likely the bigger of a EITC credit you are going to receive. And one more really important distinction when it comes to income that you need to know about, that is if you have investment income that is $3,651 or more, then you automatically become ineligible for the EITC. So your investment income needs to be $3,650 in 2020 or less for you to remain eligible for the EITC. And really what this is meant to do is to make sure that someone with a lot of assets, you know, maybe with a lot of money and investment income is not able to take advantage of the EITC because it is designed for working class families with smaller to moderate incomes and maybe with uh, less assets. So now that you know the most important income limits when it comes to the EITC, another thing you probably want to know about is the maximum credit amounts, right? How much can you actually get from this tax credit. And to show you that, I will put up one more uh, thing on the screen real quick, and let's go through it together. Now you can see that with three or more qualifying children, you can get up to $6,660 of a tax credit with the EITC. So that is a pretty significant amount. Going back all the way down to the bottom, if you have no qualifying children, you can receive only a maximum amount of $538. So as you can see, the EITC is very heavily geared towards helping working class families that have children. But yes, you can claim the EITC without children. The amount of credit is less, but it still is there. And if you are going to claim the EITC without any qualifying children, there are a few additional things that you need to meet, a few more requirements. And the first one is that you had to have at least lived in the United States for over half of the year. You can't be a digital nomad living overseas for more than half of the year. You actually have to be residing in the United States for a majority of the year. In addition to that, you cannot be a dependent on someone else's tax return. So someone cannot claim you as a dependent on their tax return. You have to be considered independent. 
And lastly, in order to claim the EITC, if you have no children, you have to be at least 25 years old and under 65 years old. And really, those are the most important aspects of the EITC. What you need in order to qualify for it, how much it's worth, and what the income limits are. And if you think that you might be eligible for the Earned Income Tax Credit, then I would highly urge you to go to the irs.gov website and use their EITC Assistant. So it's basically a questionnaire that has you go through many of the questions to determine if you are eligible for the Earned Income Tax Credit. So it can help solidify in your mind if you are going to actually be eligible for this tax credit. Because unfortunately, there are many people and many families that are eligible for this credit that do not take advantage of it. And it's mostly because they just don't know that it's there and they don't know that it's available to them. If you think that the Earned Income Tax Credit might be right for you and that you might be eligible for it, go ahead and click the link in the description below. I'll leave it there to go to the irs.gov website so you can take their little survey using their Earned Income Tax Credit Assistant. Uh, to see if you are eligible. I hope that this video helped you out and helped explain the Earned Income Tax Credit a little bit more to you. And if you wanna help me out, I would really appreciate it. If you could just give me a thumbs up, a like on this video, it really helps me out. And if you could subscribe to the channel because I'm putting out new information on personal finance all the time, and I can guarantee that there's going to be something that's going to help you out. Thank you again so much for watching. I'm Zach from oncashflow.com, and I hope to see you next time.